From the city that doesn't sleep, doesn't stop drinking, and doesn't stop for pedestrians, live from New York's Get Alive Stadium, it's Threats Football. I predict a high body count and a lot of shattered limbs today. Yeah, my last game here, my brain got better. Spilled all over, Manhattan. To live in this town, you gotta be tough, 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 tough. Hey, what I'm Today's matchup is going to be a good I'm one. The teams take the field. The Philadelphia Eagles go up against the New York Threats. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones. Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And he's off to the races. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! Oh, this is just horrible to watch. It looks like he's malfunctioning. Someone help him! He's just dancing, Bricks. Still probably better than I could. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. Grim, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And that's a fumble recovery and return. A touchdown! What a great defensive play! The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. Second down in a very long. Ouch! Anyone in the mood for a steak tartare? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. is getting kills. Ah, oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first.
First and ten. Normally that would be a first down, but he had a whole lot of ground to make up. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Oh, he just got crushed! And that'll bring up third and one. And they just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shithouse, and he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow, and he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> oh, man, that's a death blow by one hitter. I flunked a lot of exams in high school because of that death blow one hitter we made in shop class. And it's first and ten. Put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? He could go all the way. The 20. 
Mate and they're catching up. Joke, job, go stop it. Well, it's all fun and games until they try and break dancing. Yep, with skeletons, it's always more to let him out. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. Kicker died on that play. That's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And it's first and ten. And a hard run there picks up the first down. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. Yep. He's coming out in the field now. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. That's a gain of 10 yards. Third down and eight. And it's first and ten. The defender says, it's mine, and he comes away with the pick. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite thing, because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And, and he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Oh, man. 
and he ran. Oh, man, about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to come. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And that'll bring up third and one. And he laterals the ball. Nice cut to avoid the saw, but the saw just made a better, cleaner cut to the ball carrier. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. Nice cap. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. And it's first and ten. You know this preserve dirty trick ain't fair to the QB. It's like we're fighting an ant eater. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. Second down and ten. You can't keep a good mutant down. Pow! With the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. with extra mustard for the death blow. Speak bingo, bingo, I just hit that mutant bingo. And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. Second down in a very lot. Ah, uh, come on, man. You got to catch that. I don't catch anything, Rim. I'm retired. Third down, and the punter is warming up. really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this. <laughs> no return on this pump. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball's down. And it's first and ten. It's and a 
fight between King Kong and Godzilla. The player on and he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. Third down and long. Kabam! And the defender just lays a vicious hit on the receiver and jars the ball loose. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Oh, now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's first and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Briggs. Son, he broke free and has open field in front of him. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's Cooper trying to tackle hell. He has better footwork now than me. I'm a kind of not crunching and cheap stuff. You know what I got? Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. Tell me, get him, I'm gonna get him on sight. And the way I'm spending money, you would think. The teams are lined up for the kickoffs. He's gonna be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. They've used a strawberry field's dirty trick. <laughs> Those guys don't know which way forward. He could go all the way. Well, back to the bench. He dropped it, you butts. Second down and ten. Good luck. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. I don't understand. Why are they going for it, Grim? This seems like the situation where they should always, always, always punt. Well, tell our viewer. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. And the court defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> the offense goes into their two minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry up offense, you are. And he breaks away. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done.
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. No one was open downfield, so the QB threw the ball away. Second down and ten. And like a man like Bricks is bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to call off the bench to replace him. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And he punched his way out of that tackle. Well, that's a real buzzkill. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. And what I know how they said never hit a man when he's down. He's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not much. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. Move, baby. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. 
And it's first and ten. And that one's incomplete. Receiver couldn't get there. And neither could his mother. Second down and ten. Just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. Third down and ten. And another interception. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be... Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. And it's first and ten. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Field. And now they can taste sound, but... Oh, with a brutal hit! And that'll be second and eight to go. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned... If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Second down and long. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the 10. Touchdown! Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I'm off. I take all you music out. That's right. I take that. We should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Receiver just got smashed. Not as bad as me last night. He may be dead, but trust me, he's in better shape than I am right now. Oh, geez, here it comes. Blah. He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. But 10, no touchdown today. Looks like that defender ate his bleedies this morning. First down and six. See that little baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down and a lot. in there and 
swats the ball away. He can't. The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here, taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the bathroom attendant. Hey, who don't do that? First down of seven. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. In a league full of undead and monsters, humans have a right to strut their stuff. And here comes the extra point attempt. And goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. Defense gives up. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And that'll bring up third and one. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening, and the... Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row, because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Pass and catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. Second down and seven. Rage dirty trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the duration of the play. I know that's typical of all MFL players, but this is different. <laughs> Trust me, very different. He scores! They're going for two points. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Man, what a hit. That guy is not getting up. And it's first and ten.
Second down and more than the QB would like. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 40. The 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. Come on, man, you can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell in here. And it's first and ten. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. The ten. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. I just be all in my own world to me. That's why I be worried, Tom. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up, too? And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. Cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score.
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. He'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. They usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck. Which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe a... First and goal. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, ho, ho. crowd's loving it. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, great throw, great catch, and then put six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a throw to that good man. You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Man, what a hit that was. First and ten. First and ten. That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And he's off to the races. And into the for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Hey, man, I was here on the panel now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> It's good. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Stealing ain't right, Glenn. It just ain't right. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. Point. And a well placed cleat. And it's first and ten. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the heads off of enemy play. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. <laughs> First down and nine. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. The vicious kill. Oh, with the brutal hit. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? And he's off to the races. He's at the 40. 
He's at the 30. The 20. He's at the 10. And he scores! Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. What I'm saying, I understand it when I'm mad, I do the most. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. some cash the quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense at this point with multiple interceptions the QB should just throw in the towel yeah, oh and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without no oh, come on that was a cheap shot <laughs> that's why I love this guy and so do the fans <laughs> The defense has only two defensive backs left. The offense is going to try and inflict as much damage on them as possible. And it's first and ten. And that's why they... Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the deer antlers. He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Ah, don't call this epic, friend. Kids aren't going to think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for it. You know what? Oh, never mind. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. And they're catching up. Joke, job, go something. The threats win this one and walk off the field victorious. It was total and complete and utter domination. Now, speaking of domination, look at the stilettos on that cheerleader. Uh, I'd let her walk on my back. I'll tell you what, I'll pay her to do a river dance on your back with golf shoes. And let's go to the MVP to hear him let loose with some verbal diarrhea about just how special he is. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every up.